Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with X54, your Baron of Breakfast. Today we'll be looking at Rogue Legacy, an indie platform game by Cellar Door Games. I believe it's Cellar Door Games, a pretty cool company name. Now I have some brief experience with this game. Uh, I've actually beaten it, but so long ago. This is a very fun platform game, which actually gives you... There's a little night fella right here. When you go and traverse through a long castle that changes every time you enter. The game has a multitude of platform elements and some RPG elements. As you go through the game, you get to unlock different ancestors with different abilities, though not in the way you might think. We're just going to complete this tutorial level and see what it has in store for us. There's a very pretty stained glass windows. Hey, dude. Oh, I just killed the king? Oh, now we start our legacy. Change the profile. Sir Lee the Knight? Sure. Level zero. Little castle that we got to build later. So basically the way the game works out is that every time you get a hero and you go into the castle that is built randomly on each time you enter it, you do have the option of having the castle stay formed the way you remember it so that way you can guide yourself around using your map. Journal entry number one, treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, we have sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment, even assassinations? Tonight, I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters, and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest will be an embarrassment to my name. Oh, spooky go! You can't stop Sir Lee! I think that's why I am. Ah, uh, yes, some dungeon chicken to recover. Oh. How was that I dropped down, Lunges? Oh. Aha! Aha! My gaming prowess has you at a loss, does it not? <laughs> Attack from below! Are you shooting? What? What was that? A Doombus? I just killed by a painting? Sir Lee has been slain by a Doombus. Each class has pros and cons. Make sure to change your playstyle accordingly. Sir Lee's parting words. So apparently our parting words are actually helpful advice. And so the way it works out is that you have the original knight, whom we were in the tutorial, Sir Lee, which we just had, and then we select his heir. Which, as we select heirs, they have different abilities. Sir Maeus, a mage with a powerful spellcaster, every time he kills, we get mana. The trait he carries? Baldness. He's bald and beautiful. His special spell, Scythes. Lady Winry. The knight. Standard hero, pretty good at everything. Trait. Nearsighted, anything far away is blurry. Trait, a savant. You're very talented with few issues. Throw an axe. Sir Eric, the barbarian, a walking tank, this hero can take on a beating. Dwarfism. You never get to ride roller coasters. Spell, the chakra. There's a chakra which comes back to you. What is the bad boy baby barbarian? We don't have enough money to get our blacksmith yet, but let us enter the manor. Look at us, we're so tiny! Oh, who are you? One must pay the toll. Give Sharon all of your money and enter the castle. I have no choice on this. Another feature I had actually forgotten about. To enter the castle, that cloaked fella right there, we have to give him all the money we accumulate. Kind of like... Oh, oh, spikes! It's kind of like we're starting the game every time you die. 
little bit Dark Souls 2 y, if you ask me. Ah, no, you won't get me doing this this time. Zump it! Zump it! Skeleton. Take that bone head. Zump it again. I see you, magic guy. No, do this! Not again. Well, that's clearly an evil painting. I'm gonna walk away. Oh! This looks harmless. I have 50 gold. You can get a blacksmith now. Oh! Many falling fireballs that have small intervals between them. Is that all? Nothing for Sir Ellard. Aha! Child's play. Near an insult to my name. Fairy chest. Ooh, bonus objective. Ah, the chopper. Take that. Oh! I wonder if those count as enemies. Oh, it turned! Uh, no! There's so many things attacking me! I have a chance for redemption! Ah. Oh. I have four health! Ah. You're not helping thing in the corner! You're very distracting, actually. Aha! That must be the chest I want to win. Can I kill you? You seem unkillable. Is that fair? I don't think so. Oh! No! Zombie! Sir Eric has been slain by a zombie. Mastering mobility runes makes you awesome. Sir Eric's parting words. So that's kind of cool. It gives us actually a count of what we've killed each time we die. Sir Eric, our most recent heir. So another thing I neglected to mention about this game, pretty cool, is that it's been on PC and it's also on console, next and uh, previous and current gen, I believe. I think it also might be on the Vita handheld. Very fun. Well, if it's on PS3 or PS4, of course you can play it on handheld. I believe it's crossplay enabled. And now, what's also cool, you can see how much you fail at this game, actually. For how many times you die, a new heir. And for every new heir, there's three to choose from. Sir Taco, Sir Jimmy, and Sir Cowid. Hmm. See in 3D, but you're so heavy, enemies can't touch you. Quantum Translocator, drop or teleport you to your shadow. Let's see how far we can get. I'll unlock the smithy. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a ver veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. So, what? Oh, health up! Does that go for all my heroes? Upgrade knight. Turn the knight into paladins. Yes, that's something else I forgot. As you climb further into the manor with this, you get to make even more different types of heroes. What do you have to say for us, good blacksmith? Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands. But one day, the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. I need stuff. Stuff's important. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. At a price, of course. Oh, excuse me. Squire saw it, huh? So it looks like we have basic crap for now. Oh, what is that? Look, look at the way I turn. Where I, was I doing that last time? Oh. And we give this fella all of our gold. Oh, 
much. We are much stronger this time. Ow! Oh. Well, we actually almost died there. That was a little quicker than I would have wanted it to be. Sir Taco, you will be remembered fondly. Very fondly. I did a moment. Alright, next there. Lady Blair. Lady Henrietta. Sir Culp. I need to give the ladies a chance here. Hmm. I don't want to have a problem and too normal for Lady Blair. Henrietta it is. Well, there's little... Oh no, I did have money. Nothing to unlock, I'm about to lose all this gold. You can tell she's a girl because she has a tiny bow on her head. Alright, house, let's see what you have for me. Let's go up this time. Oh, I don't think I want it to go up. Oh, oh. You hurt. Ah, zombie. Floaty thingy. Don't only got 22 health. Oh, that went behind me. When it said throw size everywhere, I didn't think it would matter. It does matter. But I have 120 gold. It's all about the small victories. It's all about the small victories, Henrietta. Turn the other cheek! Oh! Great pose of fire! Dungeon chicken! has been the most fortuitous thus far. I doubt I'm using that word correctly. Fortuitous. It just sounds nice and fancy. Oh. Oh! Well, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Get gold. Oh. One health. Puzzle this one is. Moving on. A chap up there that looks so threatening. Oh! Except for the fact that he can throw speared slashy blades at us. And who are as our heir of Henrietta? Sir Gordon? Apparently has irritable bowel syndrome. Means he poops a lot. Lady Lisa, who has gigantism. Hmm. Or Sir Taco the Second. Peripheral arterial disease. No foot pulse. I don't know what that means. He is the one, though. There is no spork. This sounds interesting. Sir Taco served me well. Sir Taco the Second. I will trust you. I'm not gonna worry about the extra classes for now. Well, you know what? Actually, I'd rather use my gold for something meaningful. Oh, there we go. Paladins can up can block. Upgrading your carry capacity will allow you wear better and heavier armor. I've got the gold. Why not? Ooh, unlock a little side wings. An enchantress. And an architect. Oh yes, the architect. Architect to lock down the castle, meaning that when you have a pattern you're comfortable with, or so we get very far, the architect locks that in for you. Jacking in. It's an old Mega Man reference. Oh no, that's a. Hmm. 
Well, this is different. Uh, oh, yes, I get it. I'm the one. I see the code. Well, how about you? Apparently, you can shoot me through a wall. That doesn't seem too fair. Oh, but my attack is very powerful, apparently. Oh, no! Damn it, miss. Oh, journal! Journal entry number two, the Prince's Journal. Although I am the eldest child, I am not my father's favorite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than a throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my children should move back into the royal quarters. Back to the royal city, where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow as we pass. Heh, <laughs> pass a duke. But I am getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. Don't worry about the dukes. Oh, this room looks familiar. Already stumping the game, I guess. You're dealing with the Baron of Breakfast. It's okay to fill a little stump. by a wall turret. Sir Taco the second, you'll be remembered fondly. I guess we'll do one more and end it. Let's make it a good one. Sir Jimmy, the knave. Gigantism and stereo blind. You cannot see in 3D. Launches orbs that bounce everywhere, though. Sir Johnny, endomorph. So heavy, enemies cannot mock, knock him back. Trait? ADHD. So energetic you move faster. Someone had Grand Blade to defend you. That I like. So each one is massive. Gonna go with Sir Johnny. Cause Johnny be good. New Orleans and craziest something song that I ever did seen. I don't know the words and I even know I should. Hey, hey, Sir Johnny, let's be good. There we go. So it looks like when we had the one, we saw things in kind of like a major S look, which was pretty interesting. I lost a gold. Giant blade. I like my giant blade like I like my woman. Sharp and able to hunt. Sharp and able to defend me. Flying ghost, and you really have no fucks to give, don't you? Ah, oh, that doesn't protect me! Bullshit. That's a little fast, sir. Found me some chicken as well. Full health. Ah! Guys, that was not worth 10 gold. Absolutely not worth 10 gold. Worth nothing. Ah! Some very desperate slashing right there. like this is about to be. I don't... I have ADHD! ADHD! That'll work. for me. You gonna kill me? Hi there, care to test your dexterity? You only get one shot, but it's free of charge. You see, it'll give you a nice reward. Ten daggers destroy eight targets. Care to give it a- 
All right, sure. Oh, I get it. Oh. I'm a master almost. I think this might be my last one. Nope. This one is. Oh. Couldn't even hit eight targets. Good luck with the rest of the castle. I believe the game just insulted me. Gonna be the first thing. I'm not going to be the last thing. Just like my coach in high school. I get a coach. I suck. I'll never defeat the castle. I feel like he's going to hit me even though he's in a box. Oh, I get it. I just got to run fast. Oh, what's this? Will you pray for assistance? Yeah! <laughs> Helio's blessing? What's that? How do I use it? Does it make me stronger? Helio, is this something about the sun, isn't it? Oh, it goes for that. Uh, goes for the wall. Uh, uh. uh. Helios, guide me! Guide me, Helios! Oh, I don't know how I did that right there. I am. 500 gold, huh? Ah! Bonehead? I thought I had more sword left. I did not. Uh, a Doombus! My arch enemy! Oh! No! Sir Johnny! Definitely the one I got the farthest with, though. What, uh, what is that Sir Helio saying? Anything about it? No? Oh, what's right tri- oh, credits. Cellar Door Games! It was Cellar Door Games! Well, that's all I'm gonna be doing for Rogue Legacy, but definitely a game I all I recommend for anyone who's into the indie titles or even a platformer game. Very challenging, very addicting, very it's got a nice rapid gameplay flow to it. So I hope you do try this out, and if you do, do better than I did, please. This has been Eggs54, your Baron of Breakfast with the Gamer Shame Network. Don't forget to like for the video, subscribe to the channel, check me out on Twitch and Twitter as well for any future updates. Thanks for watching and Get cracking.